I'm a native New Orleanian and I'm the artist in residence here. And so I think that it is appropriate that we should discuss diverse cultures and diverse approaches to art and creativity. And so my first question is, when I say art, what do you say? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Good answer. Right now. And when I say aesthetics, what do you say? Uh, hmm, what kind? What kind? All right. Now, if I'm to respond to that, I would say when I say art, I say someone's creative effort not to be judged or not to be criticized but to be appreciated because all art and any artistic effort is to me in my opinion to be appreciated yeah, absolutely. and I think art I mean perhaps there's something about it that's like makes it different than just doing any other thing that you might do maybe I'm not saying that art's not necessary but I'm not even trying to say that at all, but it's almost like a, something that's not required of anybody really to do, but people choose to do it anyway, and that's what makes it really cool too. People just have a, a desire to do things that are creative, you know? Well then, define for me, if you will, creativity. Creativity. Mm -hmm. So many hard definitions. Uh, well, I'm not the... Well, I mean, creativity for me, I guess, has always been a matter of uh, taking what's there mm -hmm. around me and either like finding a new use for it or uh, putting it together with something else. I think creativity is that spiritual, innate aspect of man's personality or man's nature that wants to be like the spirit, the creator. And so it helps us and enables us and it empowers us to change or alter, as you alluded to, something that's there into a more productive or more beautiful form. For instance, a can of paint is just a can of paint. But with creative power that the artist employs, right, it then becomes a painting. Sure. And so that's what I think creativity is. So here's a good, good question. It's like, you can take a can of paint and you can paint this wall or you can go up to your studio and paint unicorns. Mm -hmm. And I think there, because I, I mean, I, I know how to paint a wall. I like doing that. I think it's a, you know, it's a good way to maintain your place, um, but I don't think it's the same thing as art, right? I think art is the product, the byproduct of creativity. Art is the result. Art is what happens after someone puts that creative power into it. Here's another question for you. How do you identify? As a community member, as an artist, or as an academic, or some combination of these attributes okay. uh, well I just finished up a master's degree so I was uh, real involved academically for a while there uh, but since then I guess uh, I haven't really moved away from it so much as just giving myself a little break I definitely would call myself an artist and uh, and like to involve myself in lots of different communities for instance here you know as the resident artist here in studio at Colton, I'm a member of a community of artists, all of us dedicated to that altruistic project of creating heritage, creating environment, creating an environment conducive to creativity. And so I'm a community member and I'm definitely an artist. I think I'm the greatest living American artist, but I'm too modest to say that publicly. And as an academic, I, like yourself, have a master's degree. And so I think I'm all those. But I think that we humans are triunal in nature. We're intellect, we're physical, we're spiritual. And so we can't leave out any aspect of our personalities. For instance, if you stop learning, your brain dies. If you stop loving, your heart dies. And so you stop being physical, your muscles atrophy. So we gotta do something in all areas of our nature to keep those parts of us alive.